just a few minutes ago, we uh, we just completed a uh, a message on sin, and um, now I wanted to take a few minutes and uh, talk to the saints and see um, if they would turn to First Corinthians. 11, 1 Corinthians 11. I usually uh, use Luke chapter, Gospel of Luke, but for tonight I want to go to 1 Corinthians 11 and we want to um, go to verse 20 of, um, of 1 Corinthians and I want to take the Lord's Supper. Uh, those of you who are Christians who perhaps have been dealing with sin, have been dealing with temptation. Um, perhaps this Thanksgiving God is calling you to uh, renounce sin, turn away from sin, stop listening to sin's voice, um, and restore God back to his rightful place of authority in your life. Let uh, Thanksgiving 2011 be the year that you say no more to sin's reign in your heart and in your mind um, and allow God to come back by faith to, to lead you and to minister to your heart through His Word and through His Holy Spirit. The call of communion is a call of reminder. Jesus uh, at the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper um, called the disciples to, to take the bread and the cup the, uh, the bread is a, is a symbol of his body and the cup is, um, is, is, is also symbolic of his blood that was shed on the cross and so Christ asks us to, to do this in remembrance of him and so if there is sin in your heart now is the time to pray and to ask God for forgiveness now is the time to pray and ask God to um, restore you back Paul says this to the church at Corinth. He says, Therefore, when you meet together, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in your eating, such one takes his own supper first, and then one is hungry and another is drunk. What do you not have houses in which to eat and drink? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you? In this I will not praise you. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. The Lord took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So the Lord took the bread and he broke it. And he passed it on to the disciples. Now, before you take the bread and eat it, you want to take a few minutes and say, Lord, forgive me for my sin. The sins that are in my heart, the sins that are in my mind, the sins that are, have been committed by my members, in private, in public, before you and before the nation, before the church. Father, forgive me for the sins um, that I'm known to commit, that are repeatedly um, in my heart and in my life. Lord, forgive me. And then you're allowed to take the bread. Before that, you will be taking judgment upon yourself. So you must first go to the Lord and ask for forgiveness and cleanse your heart and your mind of sin before you partake of his bread. Because this is symbolic of his body that took the penalty of the sin you just confessed. So let's do it together. Verse 25, Paul continues in his letter to the church at Corinth. He says, in the same way, verse 25, the cup also, after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. 
Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. So once again, we've already confessed. We've already made our, 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 our time right with God and our lives right with God. And so we want to partake of the cup and we want to do it in remembrance of him. Not only that his body was crucified, but his blood was also shed. And as the author of Hebrews says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission for sin. And so we also take the cup. Let's pray. Father, I, I just want to thank you for, um, for this time and for this Thanksgiving. And Lord, may you be with the church. Um, throughout the world, and may you be with the saints, and may you um, strengthen them, encourage them, and build them up uh, this holiday season um, as they gather around the meal. May you, O oh Lord, be glorified, and uh, may their hearts be sanctified in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.